The Fat Shark Black Screen of Death. This can be best described as powering on your goggles, going for a flight. When the flight's over, you put the goggles down, retrieve your quad, come back with a new battery, and you find that the screen is now dark in your goggles, even though all the modules are powered on. And the only way to correct this is to unplug the goggles, wait a little bit, plug them back in, and they recover and you can go fly again until you put them down after your flight and the issue happens all over again. Now I currently have this issue and I've looked um, looked for this looked for other people having this problem and there was quite a few that I could find but there didn't seem to be a solution and a lot of people were blaming TrueD uh, modules for the problem and power issues but I, I don't have a TrueD module, I have the LaForge and I don't think it's a power issue. Um, but I do want to figure this out, so let's figure this out, let's find out what's causing this problem, and hopefully how to fix it. Recursion Labs For Science Powered on the goggles, I have them connected to this quad over here. Um, you know, so I'm going to simulate a flight, yay. This is fun, ooh, this is fun. Okay, everything's in there. And so let's take them off my face and put them down. And no issue, no problem. Take them off my face, try that again, put them down. Still see the image. Take them off my face, put them down. Oh, well, I had to do that quite hard, but they did turn off. I think this silicon pad is making it so that it absorbs the hit. But as I expected, uh, I don't think it's a power issue because it only happens when you put them down, not in the middle of a flight, although someone said it happened in the middle of their flight. But uh, yeah, it is when you put them down. So when you put them down, something bumps. And let me demonstrate that the module is still turned on, but there is nothing on the screen. So if I disconnect the power, Wait a few seconds, and you have to wait a few seconds, otherwise you cannot record again with DVR. Plug them back in. And there's your image again. Okay. So, let's figure out where this issue exists. Let me just do this one more time. I really don't, hopefully I don't damage my goggles by dropping these too hard, but again, I think the silicon pad is, is, is absorbing the force. When I just dropped them instead of gently placing them down goggle first, that's when they went off. Again, screen's off, module's lit up. All right, so the first test that I'm going to do is eliminate the battery from the equation. So I've hooked up the goggles to a variable power supply, which I will power up now. Okay, and we see the image there. Um, and now for some science. Right, I'm doing this on the regular table now, so this sh shouldn't be that hard. It is not happening. Yeah, definitely. Like, I put these things down fairly gently to make it happen normally, so. This is the battery. All right, let's try that next. Okay, so the battery is now hooked up, and uh, you drop the battery, it's not happening, but the battery is usually in vertically. So let's try that. Ooh, and it's off. that again disconnect the battery it was definitely connected in here like this was in solid all right so let's put, put push this back in make sure right, that's on make sure the battery cable has slacked make sure I'm not pulling this out get on the screen here so you can see both no a little bit higher 
Oh, boom, and it's off. Okay, so I think we've narrowed it down to the battery. So this battery is not the standard Fat Shark battery. Well, actually, I think these come with goggles now, especially if they're shipped overseas because they can't ship batteries. So this is a Fat Shark 18650 headset battery case, and I have these 18560 batteries inside. So I am guessing what is happening is that when this is jiggling, these are losing contact. All right, so now what is the best way to fix this so this doesn't happen? Okay, so in order to take this thing apart, you need to use a knife to peel off this sticker. And then there's a small screw that you need to remove. And then once that is done, there are one, two, three, four, five clips that you need to disengage from here. And then you just gotta pry them out. And then you have access to the internals here. Okay, so what's the best way to do this? Da, 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 da. Where's my soldering iron? With this out, you can remove this pin for this door, which goes in here to get access to the side here. And we'll start with this first. Okay. So the first thing we'll do is apply a little bit of flux. Heat this up to 360 degrees. And then just put some on here. Just dab it on ever so slightly. I don't want too much of a tip. Yeah. Put on a little bit of flux. Just dab on a blob of solder. Come in here and heat up that flux. There we go. Make sure to smooth out. And yeah, just to make that ball a little bit bigger. Okay. That is done, so let's test this out. Yeah, you can see this is making a much better contact. Let's see how much room we have to wiggle here. And it still happens. So maybe add a little bit more here. Mm, this is getting pretty hacky. Yeah, it is no longer happening. Okay, it happened again. It had required a much more larger jolt, but... Yeah, it's still happening. So this one's tight, and this one still has a little bit left. Oh, this sucks. All right, so I've added a bridge of solder here on the spring, as you can see, which should limit its compression um, by about that much, as about by as, uh, the size of the bridge. So when it compresses, that part of the spring won't compress, and hopefully that's enough to close that gap so that the spring is nice and tight when the battery's in there. Let's have a look. Let's close it up. Okay, that was nice and reasonably hard to close. But not too hard. That's gonna be a pain in the field. Yeah, that one, that one definitely doesn't give. And the one that we just corrected again. Yeah, that's, that's pretty tight. Okay, so now we can see the goggles are powered up. This battery is connected. Hey! Huzzah! I would consider that a resounding success. You piece of shit. So yeah, these Fat Shark battery cases have a major design flaw, and that design flaw is that these springs are way too easy to compress. So what happens is the battery compresses the spring when it goes in there, 
and when you put the goggles down, it jolts the battery case and the battery inside, which weighs a decent amount to move the spring ever so slightly. And what happens here is that the battery disconnects from the terminal, probably only for a microsecond, but that is enough to, well, that is enough for the, the, the screen and the goggles to, um, to be powered off. Uh, but probably not enough for the module, which is why it stays powered on. Maybe there's enough capacitance in there to handle that, uh, that very slight disconnect enough not to power it off. But the screen, it can't handle any power loss. Um, so this is a fairly major design flaw, and the only way to correct it would be to do what I did here and make it so there's absolutely no travel left in the spring when the batteries are in there and it's closed, so that there's nowhere left for it to go, or to replace the spring with something that requires a lot more force in order to compress it. Uh, if you have one of these battery cases that you're using, be very careful because uh, if you put this this down and it disconnects, it's an inconvenience, but it wouldn't take much for this to happen while you were flying. Uh, let's just say you tilt your head because you did a flip and you hit your shoulder um, with your with your head and that, that kind of scrapes the battery against your shoulder. That could be enough of a jolt to disconnect uh, the LCD screen and then you lose absolute all video footage when you're flying. Um, and when it comes to goggles, reliability is very important. So if you have one of these battery cases and you're using 181650 batteries, either do this hack to make it so there's no travel in the springs or stop using this and either use a LiPo battery or take 181650 batteries and solder them together with wires and just use them that way. Um, but this stock, I would be concerned with using it um, based on that issue. But now with this, this mod done, I'm not concerned anymore. I mean, I, I, I slammed this pretty hard on the ground and it did disconnect. Um, anyway, that was, uh, uh, that was fun. Um, thank you for kind of coming along with me to solve this. And hopefully uh, this is useful to some people. Recursion.